We want to get to some breaking news right off the top right now. A body has been found in the water where a car crashed earlier this morning. Now you're looking at a live image from the scene. This is right by State Route 54. This in National City right near the five. And you can see a couple officers out there. Authorities tell us a woman was walking there. You see that trail and a car went by nearly hitting her. And then that vehicle, which appears to be upside down uh, right there, it had gone into the water. It appears they were able to pull it out from the water. And our photographer, Kenny McGregor, is there on the scene right now. So, Kenny, what can you tell us? What have you seen so far? Hi, Netta. Uh, yeah, right now I'm on the westbound 54 near the 5 freeway. You can see what appears to be, I believe it's a Lexus uh, in the water. Um, this is how they found it when they got here. Uh, right now, they are in a recovery mode. It looks like they're uh, going to pull possibly a body out of the water. But if you look down here, this is the channel that goes out into the ocean. And we believe right now that the body is swept all the way down here. And as you see out here in the distance, there's gonna be some lifeguards and a gurney. And it looks like they're going to, again, be in a recovery mode right now. Um, as far as how many people were in the vehicle, I don't know that yet. They're just about ready to do a news conference. But from right now, uh, the 54 is shut off, uh, going to uh, the westbound, to the, actually to the uh, north and southbound five from the 54. So if you're coming this way, try and take an alternate route. Okay, Kenny, it looks like, as you just mentioned, a body has been found in the water. This is State Route 54 in National City. Uh, so a woman, she was walking this morning when a car went by nearly hitting her. And there you see that car is the one there in the water. Mm -hmm. And Kenny, if you could describe, I mean, we're seeing a man jogging on that trail right there. Uh, how odd would it be to see a vehicle going that direction into the water? It obviously doesn't seem like a place you would normally see cars. So let me give you a better vantage point. I'm going to pan up here above this ravine. And I would say we're probably about 25, 30 feet up. And as you look over to the left-hand corner of the screen, you're going to see this is the bridge that goes to the five south. But um, again, we're, we're at least 30, maybe even 40 feet up. But it looks like she somehow uh, either lost control, and we don't know yet, uh, went all the way down this ravine here and landed in there. So as far as where the walkers or the jogs she saw. I don't believe that she was driving on that path, but I don't know yet. Uh, you can see here there's a there's a cut in the fence, and I don't know if this is from firefighters or from the vehicle itself. But it it kind of shows if she did, she might have gone through there. But again, uh, until we know some more from this conference that I'll go to when we're done here, um, that's where that car is. But like I said, right now they're looking at a recovery of the body that's completely. Let's see if I can get over there because there is somebody in the water right now. I'm sorry about this fast pan here. Uh, there is somebody right now in the water down here. I'm going to stay a little bit wide because okay. I don't know what yeah, we're going to case, see. But please. yep, le left hand of the screen, there is a diver from the lifeguard uh, currently in that water right now. And, and I believe from what I heard from scanner traffic, they did uh, recover someone. Okay. Now, Kenny, while you stay or, on or this picture, at least picture, located. We're going to have you stay on this picture for a second. Jenny has been covering this story all morning. This is, of course, affecting traffic in that area. Uh, Jenny, what else can you tell us? You no, know, Kenny's live on scene, so he, you know, probably has the best vantage point that we have, and maybe we should go back to that live picture just so we stay up to date, though. But I did start initially reporting this particular crash at about 5:45 this morning. That's when the SIG alert was issued. I would say probably about 30 minutes later. Again, this is a fatality. A body was found in the water. Now, traffic-wise, now you saw that that was off of the ravine there, off the embankment. So the closure that I'm seeing on our maps is the entrance ramp. So that ramp from the 50 to the five that is shut down and it is causing some backups right now. We don't have a full full closure and of course Kenny can uh, update us on that because he is live on the scene there, but you are seeing delays of up to about 27 miles an hour on that stretch of the 54 as you're making your way uh, westbound there. The five right now I'm not seeing any impacts. Now that is not the only crash that we're dealing with Fourth Avenue. There is a crash right at Ash Street. Uh, it looks like we have a crash up in Oceanside as well. This is impacting the five northbound side right near Las Flores Drive. Netta.
All right, Jenny, thank you. And of course, we'll check back in with Kenny as well, live from National City after he hears from law enforcement on the scene there. A quick check of your forecast this morning. Here you go, that gorgeous sunrise as you look out to the east. Official sunrise time, 639 this morning. Your weather headlines, we're back to near normal weather for today and tomorrow. So what does that mean for San Diego in fall? Mid-70s at the beaches, mid-80s inland. That onshore flow is here. That's helping cool things off. We do have a bit of a marine layer out there. And then things switch. Sunday, dry. Offshore winds and heat will be upon us. And right now the nation is saying a final farewell to late Supreme Court Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg. In fact, a private ceremony is getting underway right now. Justice Ginsburg, the first woman to lie in state at the U.S. Capitol. She died a week ago at the age of 87. With an open seat now on the Supreme Court, there's that battle that's brewing over her successor. But this morning, it is time to honor her and her historic career, uh, even now in her death, making history. News 8's Evan Norani joining us now with the very latest. Evan. Good morning. That's right. One of the more notable things is that Ruth Bader Ginsburg is only the second Supreme Court justice to ever lie in state. She's the first woman and the first Jewish American to lie in state. So a lot of firsts that Ginsburg is making. And uh, of course, plenty of people over the last several days were able to say their goodbyes. Thousands were able to pay honor to her uh, on the steps of the Supreme Court where she was over the last couple days. But uh, just over the last half hour, we've seen that progression take place. We've seen uh, Nancy Pelosi and Chuck Schumer. We've seen Joe Biden and Jill Biden uh, in the Capitol there, just about to pay their respects. That ceremony expected to start any minute now. Uh, today, Ginsburg, of course, will be that first woman to lie in state. She, uh, that private ceremony is expected to be attended mainly by family and lawmakers, including uh, presidential candidate Joe Biden. There's also word that Kamala Harris will be in attendance. Tomorrow, President Trump is already expected to announce a replacement nominee to fill a vacant seat on the Supreme Court, but critics say that that's a duty that should be left after the upcoming election, now just nearly a month away. President Trump and First Lady Melania Trump did pay their respects to Ginsburg on the steps of the Supreme Court. That was yesterday. Trump was met with chance to vote him out and honor her wish. I thought it was an appalling and disrespectful thing to do as the president honored, honored Justice Ginsburg. For health care, what it's going to mean for once again being able to say if you're pregnant, it's a pre existing condition, be able to charge women more for the same procedure as men, it's wrong. It's an abuse of power. Ginsburg served on that court for 27 years and was the leader of the liberal justices. Many are expecting President Trump to nominate a woman to the court to replace Ginsburg's seat. Democrats have already said that this is an illegitimate nomination. They say they won't consider a new replacement until after the upcoming election. Again, crazy to think that that election is 39 days from now. So coming up very quickly, it makes sense as to why President Trump is wanting to get this nomination through relatively quickly and why Republicans are quick to support him in that. But Democrats saying this is illegitimate. They say they will fight it regardless. Now, Ruth Bader Ginsburg's ceremony is expected today. She will lie in state. That nomination coming from President Trump will take place tomorrow is when we're hearing, where he is expected to nominate a woman. And then next week, Ruth Bader Ginsburg will be laid to rest at Arlington National Cemetery. That'll be alongside her late husband, who passed away in 2010, Martin. She'll be laid alongside him next week at Arlington National Cemetery. I'm Evan Narani, News 8. Kevin, thank you. This morning, federal investigators will be at the scene of a plane crash in Kearney Mesa. The crash happened at an industrial lot off of Balboa Avenue near Kearney via Road right after 4.30 in the afternoon yesterday. News 8's Chris Groh is live with the very latest in what's going to happen today. Good morning, Chris. Good morning, Stella, and let's get to that video to show you what that scene looked like. This is near the Kyocera building that just crashed behind it. That's right off of Montgomery Field, and what we're told is this plane was trying to take off, and then that's when the crash happened. So this was not an issue uh, with the plane trying to make that landing. This occurred shortly after takeoff. Now, we're told that the two men inside, luckily, uh, were able to get out and were taken to the hospital, though with 
pretty serious injuries, but we were told by uh, fire rescue on scene that they were able to speak with them. So we are trying to find out exactly what their status is and also what the NTSB is looking at for a cause of this crash right now. But back out here live near Montgomery Field, it is business as usual in this area. But for those of you that are familiar with this area, very common to see planes flying uh, up and down here, taking off and landing at Montgomery. But obviously, a lot of people surprised here by this crash. And we are working to get the latest info. And as soon as we get it, we'll bring it to you. Stella Netta. Okay, Chris, thank you so much. We want to get to our breaking news story again. A body has been found in the water where a car crashed earlier this morning. We're taking a live look right now where it uh, looks like National City Fire Captain is out there on the scene. And our photographer, Kenny, has been there all morning. And I believe he's talking to him right now. If we can listen in, Kenny. Okay, approximately what time it, uh, uh, in the morning? It was approximately 5 in the morning. Okay. I'm not positive. And when you guys arrived, what did you see again? So we arrived on scene to find a single vehicle uh, submerged in the waterway. And uh, you want me to go further yeah, than that? Please. So National City, Chula Vista, CHP, Harbor PD, and lifeguards uh, enacted a rescue operation. Um, we did find one body about 200 yards east of the vehicle. We believe that body to be associated with the vehicle. That was the only body we found in the water. We do have divers searching the water at this time. And you said it was uh, possibly a male? It was a male of unknown age. Okay. Uh, the, the gate that's cut open there, was that by you or, or was that already like that when you arrived? Yeah, we did cut the, the gate you see for access. Uh, to the east of that, you can see the gate that's and if, the, been, if uh, the car was traveling on the 54, about how far down do you think we are? About 30, 40 feet? What are we looking at as far as a drop? So this is probably about 100 feet of embankment going down to the waterway and then another 50 feet into the waterway. Okay. Was it difficult? Because it was at night, right? There were, there were... It was very difficult because the reporting party were on a bike path. They weren't vehicles on a freeway, which we're used to looking for vehicles with their hazards on. Um, so it did take a while to find the crash site and being so far off the freeway. And then, like you said, you recovered a body about, or found a body about we 200. We found a body in the water about 200 yards As east of the As you just heard there, the captain, crash. National City captain, talking about what happened. This uh, incident happened at 5 o'clock this morning. They enacted a rescue. They found a body, um, and it is, they believe it is a male. They don't know the male's age yet. So let's uh, toss it over to Jenny, who's tracking this as well. That's creating um, a, quite a mess there this morning morning traffic wise you know and Kenny uh, is doing a great job getting all the details out on the scene again this happened at about 5 5 30 in the morning is when we started getting reports of it in traffic per CHP that sig alert was issued at about 6 15 now since this did kind of happen off to the bike path it's it is still impacting your traffic I kind of want to pull up the maps real quick so you can see because that entrance ramp is shut down Kenny is live there he's going to give us any up to the minute updates but here on the 54 this is where that happens so westbound side, that entrance ramp from the southbound side of the five, it is shut down. Now, this is not a full closure where everything is blocked off here. It's just right where uh, that ramp is concentrated, kind of off where the car went off into the embankment there. You can see a little bit of a delay on that westbound 54. Right now, your five is not impacted. But stick around because we are going to have the latest on this breaking news out of National City. Again, a body was found after a crash happened off of the 54. Stay with us.